Okay, people. Please accept the words of your book. A man said, Enoch walked with God. He was only shown heaven. No, not according to your book. You see, according to the Genesis, Enoch, let me see what it says, make sure, walked with God, and he was no more, for God took him. Okay? He walked with God. Maybe in that instance, you can say he was shown heaven. But then it said that he was no more. Meaning that he was no longer here on earth. He gone. And then it specifically says, God took him. Now, if you are reading the book of Enoch, which there are multiple books of Enoch, he gives these descriptions of heaven and talk about things he's seen and talks about the watchers. And this is where you get your war in heaven story in the Bible, even though it's also talked about in the Sumerians and, and in the Hindus Valley before the Bible was ever written and in the comedic before the Bible was ever written and before the Torah was ever written. But it said he took, it. now personally, I think Enoch got tired of his family and he said, fuck it, and he left. And then they just made up the story about God taking him. Or he was abducted by the aliens, by the Anunnaki, and went up on the ship, which is why he saw all these visions, and then he was, but he was gone. But it also says he was no more. So that means that he didn't come back, which is why Enoch more than likely did not write the book of Enoch, that it was written by somebody else who had visions. Or Enoch wrote these visions, the people thought he was crazy, and so they kicked him out. And then later on the story became that God took him. But to say that he was only shown heaven because you say you want to, you want your, your, your New Testament to be so right when Jesus said, no one is in heaven but him and the Father. You want that to be so right that you have to find some rational reason why the book says that other people went. Instead of just realizing that this book is written by man based on the culture to which they were living in. Because if you wrote this book today, I guarantee one of your Ten Commandments would be no man should own another man. You will probably write something to the effect that women should be treated equally to men. You will probably write that pedophilia is not good that you shouldn't be having sex with anybody below a certain age especially these 12 13 14 year olds because your morality is greater and because your morality is greater but not only is that we have more information today we understand why the hurricane come why the mountain trembles we can identify if a spaceship lands and we wouldn't call them guys just because they have more technology than we do but don't try to take away from your book accept the whole thing or break it into the pieces that it really should be broken into. How are we doing?